Hello my beautiful angels and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a top, I don't even know how many we picked. <laughs> I tried to keep it minimal for the video, but sometimes I get a little carried away. We have another top video that I want to do for you guys. These are the top Femme Fatale fragrances that I personally have in my collection. There's a billion more fragrances that came to mind immediately when I thought Femme Fatale. And maybe I'll do those in a separate video down the road when I end up purchasing them or get through these and kind of want to do something new for you guys because I feel, and I don't know if this is true, I feel like sometimes it can get redundant with the fragrances I have. I do have a lot of perfume, like a lot of perfume, but I feel like you guys have seen a lot of my perfumes time and time again, and I could be totally wrong about this, but if they seem redundant, let me know and I can definitely branch out because I have so many other like fragrance testers. I've smelled so many things. I have samples. I have all sorts of stuff that I can get into on these videos for you guys. So without further ado, let's hop right into this video. So these are the Bad B fragrances. Think black leather leggings. Think sexy night out. You're going to make your man want to rip those leather leggings right off your body type of scents. These are those fragrances. Without further ado, let's get into these bad boys. I actually have one that I've never even talked about on this channel. And that's... Let's not break anything, shall we? Um, Versace Crystal Noir. This one is one that actually reminds me of a friend of mine. Um, her name's Maria. And this is her fragrance. I believe this is her signature fragrance. Um, and so this one is definitely a sexy, sultry fragrance. This one is a little bit more on the come hither side. Like wearing this one to me, it's still like elegant in a way, but this one has that sexy to the core vibe. I mean, this one is just so hot. I remember smelling this one at an Ulta and knowing that eventually I was going to have to buy a full-size bottle. Now, this one sold out at a lot of places. Like, I have not had the easiest time finding this, ironically, because it's Versace. It's not something that's super rare, but this one is a little bit harder to find for whatever reason. It's just very popular. People love it. Guys love it. Girls love it. And I have gotten quite a few compliments wearing Versace Crystal Noir. It's just one of those scents where I think people just break necks to smell. It's just a really sexy sexy scent the next one i haven't talked about too much on this channel this is rouge smoking by bdk i promised you guys i was going to do a whole bdk video and i just never freaking did it which my bad i really should do a full video on bdk i have almost the entire line when it comes to these travel decants and then i do have the full size of a couple of them too i think i have four bdk scents in the full size bottle I've worn every single scent of BDK and I will say that this one is definitely not for the faint of heart. This one is very, um, like it can be a little challenging for some. This is not a blind buy at all. Um, but Rouge Smoking is very sexy. It's slightly kind of like cherry incense, like a burning cherry type smell. This one is so hot to me. Like, I don't normally like cherry scents. You guys know how I feel about Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, Electric Cherry, and all the cherries after. This one to me is cherry done right. It is very, very, very sexy. I mean, there's just no words. It's almost like kind of like an ambery or a warm kind of sugary type of smell um it's very distinct i know if i smell anyone wearing this i'll know exactly what it is it's not one where i'll have to like second guess myself it's not like any designer scent you can buy out there um if you like unique perfumes and you like kind of that like in i don't want to say it's incensey it's definitely not incensey and i'm not going to put notes on the screen because i want to like describe perfumes in a way that how it makes you feel versus just telling you guys the notes that you can go look up on Fragrantica. Um, but this one is 
just really sexy i feel like this is more of a winter scent for sure i wouldn't really necessarily feel comfortable wearing this in high humidity just personally i feel like this could be a little too much a little too cloying in a very high humid environment such as florida but in the winter time this one would be a hot cabin scent like i'm picturing like going back in time in utah this would have been a top born scent i would have put some body oil on sprayed a little bit of this on and literally m would not be able to keep his hands off me this is like a really really sexy scent and i feel like guys really do like this scent too it's kind of like this if lipstick were a fragrance but not like a traditional lipstick this is like a new modern sexy style lipstick with black leather leggings again and like maybe a little bun this would be it it's definitely something you can wear also dressed up so if you were like going somewhere um like an event this would be a really good fragrance for that too it's very unique the next one we're going to talk about is one that <laughs> this was my most ratchet of ratchet seasons this is hypnotic poison this one is so nostalgic for me this was my like post high school so i guess you could say like 18 maybe even younger than that actually i want to say like 17 18 19 into early 20s so like i think 21 22 i was still kind of wearing this this is a vanilla fragrance it is a darker vanilla it is kind of mysterious but this one to me it almost has like a little bit of like a plasticky smell to it this one i spray on and i immediately immediately feel like it's just about to be a wild night um this one for me is super nostalgic i do not wear it often if you could see the actual bottle that's why i got a small bottle of it um the bottle is i mean actually to be fair there's quite a bit gone i don't know why um i really never reach for this perfume ever but maybe i should start this one is a sexy vanilla through and through i wore this so so much i've had big bottles of this i've had every single flanker of poison um poison to me was a staple i've literally gone through so many dior bottles in my lifetime i can't even begin to tell you if you knew me back then and like into my early 20s dior addict was actually a perfume that i wore for a very long time all my sweaters jackets winter attire smelled like dior addict it was like my winter scent for like eternity i started wearing it when i was like 16 like 15 16 and i wore it all the way through to like my late 20s it's just a really really incredible scent that would actually go along into this category but it's not as feminine in my opinion as hypnotic poison hypnotic poison is just the sexiest like little black dress like you know she's going out and she's going to have a good time type of scent it is just a very seductive vanilla and honestly i'm like making myself want to wear this more and more just by talking about it like i'm reselling myself on hypnotic poison because it is just so good and literally i've used this for years and even through some of the changes it still smells pretty much the same as it did back then and i've had this bottle for like maybe a year or two years it's good like it's just it's good um dior i feel like dior is a fragrance house has a lot of really great perfumes to offer in the designer price point and i mean you just really can't go wrong like when i do my mother's day video i'll talk about more of like the florals for you guys like the fun florals that dior has to offer because they do do perfume very very well i can't say that for every single house or like every single designer brand i feel like versace is very hit or miss um valentino again very hit or miss but dior is just one of those houses where i feel like they do it right the next one is Kaoli's elixir 11. this one is very incensey this one is very Mm, this is just very seductive very very seductive um the brand is like incredible if you have smelled kaoli before you'll know that they're very unique um they are a niche perfume house but they're at an affordable range so i really truly love kaoli i think if you're just getting into perfume 
Kiali has something to offer for everybody. So they have like the really easy to wear like coconut one. Um, I have it and I don't wear it enough, but I'll probably wear it more in summer. The bottle's like almost gone, but I really don't wear it too much. It's just a little travel like this. Um, but Kiali has something to offer every single person. There's pink diamond pepper, which is kind of like a sweet woody, which is good like every day. It's a very much a compliment getter. Um, all the way to, you know, they have the vanilla 28, which is like everybody and their mom and their grandma and their dog. And like just everyone wears vanilla 28. I feel like it's very like played out in a way. I mean, do you fragrance will always be one of those things where if you love it, wear it. Who cares what anyone else says? I still love Baccarat Rouge 540. And I know that everyone's like, oh, it's so outdated. It's so played up. And there's so many like um, flankers of it or not flankers, but there's so many like spinoffs of it and dupes. I don't care. I love it. I think it smells so good. It gets so many compliments. And to me, when I smell myself wearing it, I feel sexy. I feel amazing. I feel confident. And so I'm going to wear it. Same for you. If anyone tells you a perfume is trash or it's played out or whatever, like who cares? Um, this is about you and this is about what you like and discovering what you like. So anyone who has anything negative to say like bye bye <laughs> we're doing us in this lifetime and so find perfumes that speak to you. Um, Vanilla 28 is very popular. You will smell it on other people if that is something that you're attuned to and you can pick up on scents. It's a very popular scent and in fact I do get quite a few people on Instagram who tell me that that's like one of their favorite Sephora fragrances. But I think if you're looking for something a little bit different, a little more unique and you like kind of the incense vibe and smell, which I do not, I'm not an incense girly, but I will mix this with other Kaolis to kind of make it more Celia friendly. <laughs> But I do think this is sexy and I do actually like this a lot on other people and I do actually like this on guys So, you know, it just it's perfume is always subjective and you're going to find stuff that you like based upon you know past experiences and emotions and so What may not work for you may be something that you love on someone else. So this one Incredible fragrance not something I reach for but an incredible fragrance the next one we're going to talk about is Louboutin. This is Louis Rouge. This one has the little Louboutin uh, heel at the top of the world. This one is sexy. This one's hot. This one is just really, really, really beautiful. Um, this one has a very unique scent to it. It's almost unlike anything that I've smelled on the market. My only problem with this is that it doesn't last. I feel like I can't smell it past like hour four or five. The dry down happens pretty quickly and then it's gone. So this one to me, it smells really, really, really pretty. It has this like warmth to it. There's like this warmth to the base that's just really gorgeous. And the dry down on this one is very um, intoxicating. It's not a super out there scent. It's not something that's going to project like crazy, but it does have quite a strong presence. It's a very distinct smell. And I actually don't smell this too often on anyone else. Like when we go out, I don't smell this on anyone else. I don't think many people know that Louboutin has fragrance. I have an entire video. Unfortunately for me, there's something inside of here, like in the dry down inside of this fragrance that does not work for me. So I do not get enough wear out of Loopy Rouge. Will this change? We don't know. But for now, it is just a beautiful bottle in my collection. Um, but I definitely think that it, on the right skin chemistry, it could be really, really beautiful. So if you are into those type of scents where it's a little bit more unique and almost has like a spicy woodiness to it if you're into that spicy woody type of scent it's a really really good one the next one is one that i actually wear quite often um this one is alien by terry moogler i actually broke the bottle um recently <laughs> it just kind of like fell apart but what do we expect it's just a little tester or a little travel size bottle anyways but this one alien but alien has a very sexy vanilla grapey scent that 
will take his breath away. This one is just really, really, really seductive. It's really, really incredible. It's very, very potent. And this one I just really like for a interesting day. And now I do have other ones that are a little more elevated than this. Like Inicio makes a couple, like I think it's Absolute Aphrodisiac that I own. That's a very much a similar scent profile. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to talk about Alien. If we want to get into the really high end, like seductive, I could talk about Memo. There's, um, I could talk about Amouage has one. I could talk about Inicio, but for the sake of this video, we'll just talk about how this one is a baddie. It is a good one. And I think that if you're into the vanillas and into that kind of like darker vanilla, this is a sexy scent for you. Um, speaking of sexy vanillas, Sound of a Ricochet, this is my like villain vanilla, I call it. This one is a very dark vanilla. This one is so incredibly sexy. I've actually had my husband's partner, um, one of his coworkers, went to the perfume store with me and ended up buying this because it is just that good. And like when people smell this, especially when women, other women have smelled this, they're like, wow, that is just really beautiful, but in like a very dark way. So it is a dark fragrance. It does smell mysterious. It smells intoxicating. It definitely has that, you know, dark, mysterious presence to it where it will really captivate somebody. Um, in this scent bubble of just mystery and intrigue. So Sound of a Ricochet, absolutely love. Do I wear this one that much? No, I do not. I do not have like a time and place to wear this other than date nights, but maybe we should like change that. Maybe we should, okay, there's definitely something on here. Maybe we should start wearing um, our like femme fatale fragrances during the daytime for me maybe not the best idea because i'm around people all day but if you have the ability to sit in an office somewhere and just smell luxuriously like a villain vanilla do it like live your best life this one is just so sexy i absolutely love sound of ricochet i think that this one is actually a really good perfume as well for mother's day and we'll talk about you know, the different personality types of Mother's Day scents. You know, there's going to be mothers who like more of a fresh scent, more of a clean scent, more of a tea scent, more of a vanilla. Um, this would be good for all those moms out there who like to smell sexy. Last but not least, we have our gorgeous, beautiful bottle from the Casamirati line. This one is so stunningly realistic it smells just like red velvet cake but like a very expensive red velvet cake like from cake bake in indiana which is coming to disney by the way i'm so excited um cake bake if you haven't been there is this super super cute bakery it's um owned by gwendolyn i forget her last name but she makes cakes for oprah and other celebrities and the cakes are so freaking cute the whole place is a vibe it's like the cutest place you'll ever go seriously anyways this smells like red velvet cake has a little bit of almondy in there but it's definitely strong on like that raspberry it almost has kind of a plasticky essence and vibe to it it is so sexy this one's syrupy sexy um i have worn this in the heat um and it performs really well it's very projecting um and i have worn this to a couple events where it wasn't the best night and that's why i like don't really reach for this bottle all the time but i recently wore this to a showing where was i i was somewhere around like nona i wore this to a showing and my client was like you smell really good like what is that they could smell it from like i only had on i swear you guys i only had on like three or four sprays and we were walking through the halls of this house and my client was like, you smell really good. Like whatever that is, it smells like cake. Like it literally smells really incredible. It's hyper gourmand, um, very projecting, very sweet. It, I mean, it has a little bit of like a vanilla essence to it, but it's a little bit more of that like bitter almond type of smell. And to me, it smells a little bit more raspberry than it does 
anything else. I mean, it is very much a sexy gourmand smell. Um, and it is a very beautiful scent. And actually, I have a girlfriend who I gave her some of my clothes. So I had a couple dresses that I wanted to get rid of. I like to clean up my closet. I'm very Marie Kondo with my clothes. And I gave her the dresses and I had worn this on one of the dresses and it lingers. It like stays on clothes for such a long time that she put it on and she was like, what is the smell? She had bought a bottle of this because the dresses that I had gifted her smelled like this. And she was like, oh my gosh, I just have to have a bottle of that. Like it was so intoxicatingly good. And so she ended up buying a bottle of it. So it's good. It's amazing. And that concludes our video for today. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you loved this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.